Now, since the dawn of time, the word souffle has filled even the most seasoned chef with horror. But today, me. James <laughs> is about to change all that with the help of a top secret, foolproof, I'm told, recipe. Well, first of all, this is this is the foolproof bit. What's that? Ready-made custard. No. Ready-made custard. This is a variant of sort of bananas and custard that I'm going to do for you now. So, yep. ready-made custard. Um, and you basically just whip the egg whites. There's no, there's nothing in here, just plain egg whites. But when you fold them in, carefully fold them in. So what, what's this recipe going to be? This is a banana and custard souffle, or a variant of bananas and custard, because we all had that as a kid, bananas and custard, but this is just a, an elaborate version. But all you do is you fold, you use the custard as a base. Now, souffle is made with, with different sort of ways. But, you know, this is, this is... The classic way is to make a creme anglaise, really, which is technically custard. So some people would use... Uh, what they call a creme patissiere, which is custard thickened with corn flour or thickened with flour. Um, other times you can just use it with an egg yolk and whipped egg whites. If you're making uh, a cheese souffle, then you would do that with a little bit of white sauce. So, so. that was the egg whites that you've whisked Egg whites, up. fold yeah. it in, four to one. So every, every souffle that you make is one egg white, roughly, mm -hmm. like that. And you just basically just pile that in there like How's this. That it? That's it. And then the no. key to a souffle is go around with the finger. I missed it. Around the edge. Now, I love cooking, right, and I'll try most things, but I would... I've just never been brave enough to try a souffle. No, just I think... Just, I, think I don't think it's... I think somebody's put my rum in my coke, I think, this morning. But, <laughs> you know, this is... This is it's just going to go straight in the oven now. And this should take... This should take about five, six minutes, something like that. Yeah. Now, at the same time, with the custard, you can flavour this with whatever you want. So if you want an orange souffle, just put orange zest in it. The secret of it is don't put juice in it, because if you put the juice, it just unbalances the recipe. So orange, lemon, uh, even uh, something like pista uh, sorry, pistachios, nuts, dried, dried things like that would be great in here, dried cranberries or anything like that, but use the custard as a base. And is it something that is... You have to make it just before you're going to eat it. You can't... It's not something that you can... You no, can't, well, can however, you there's any a, of this Well, there's an ice souffle. The French do a classic ice souffle, which is made exactly the same way. Um, but you basically put it into a mould, the same mould I've got, but you put greaseproof paper all the way around the edge, a little elastic band, and you fill it up and then you freeze it. Um, but that's made it's slightly ice, like ice cream, and then you take off the greaseproof paper, so it looks like a souffle, but it's actually an ice cream. And then you basically eat it like that. Very clever. So this is just a, a variant of sort of bananas and custard souffle. Uh, so I've got a pan on here, yep. but we're going to serve this with a really quick ice cream. Okay. Now, are you going to make ice cream as well? I'm going to make ice cream got, in about... You've got uh, four minutes, so you're going to make an ice cream in four I minutes. i make ice cream in about 30 seconds, yeah. Wow. OK, with, this with is going to be seriously impressive. No, no, it's, just, it's, really, it's not that impressive, it's just bananas. So, but... Lynn has asked, um, I'm too scared, she's like me, I'm too scared to try souffle, is it suitable for, for beginners? Uh, yes, technically, yeah. I mean, the, the whole thing about cooking is confidence, you know, mm. and possibly not doing it live on TV, really. Uh, for the first time, but we'll give it a go. But it's 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 pretty. See, I think it's when we watch. Like I'm watching you now, and you obviously you know exactly what you're doing. If I threw sugar in, look just as like if I know that, what I'm doing. But... It would have just I, that would have the sugar would be stick. The pan would be on fire. It'd be in the garden. There'd be burnt sugar everywhere. Something something would have happened. Like well, yeah. this is toffee bananas. So all you're creating is you start off with the sugar first of all, Ooh. which caramelises the bananas. So get the pan nice and hot, mm. um, and you put the sugar in, and it caramelises it. You see. Like this. And then we put the butter and the, 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 uh, the cream in, which makes it like a banoffee, really. That's what, that's what that is. And all you're doing is, do is you basically just reduce the temperature down a little bit and just gently cook it. But you see you've got the nice toffee bit of the bananas. That, that, that will then sort of liquefy into the cream. Oh, that looks delicious. And you didn't measure anything. You just grabbed a bit of butter, chucked it in, you poured a bit of double cream. Is well, that, could I do that? that yeah, home? well, to me, that's what cooking's about, really. Yeah. I mean, it, it's having the confidence to give it a go. And if it doesn't work, have another go. So trial and error, basically. Well, probably. This, this, should, this should work. We never know. But it should take, should, generally takes about sort of six, seven minutes in the oven. Now, for the ice cream, I'll show you this. This is, okay. this is fantastic to do because it's warm weather outside. This is brilliant. So the ice cream, frozen bananas. OK. Take the bananas, peel them, uh, chop them up into chunks, put them in a freezer bag. Um, and then freeze them whole like this. Got so you can do this with... I can do that. Uh, English strawberries, amazing. British strawberries, bang in season at the moment as well. Get loads of those, take the tops off and freeze them in a freezer bag. And then when you want ice cream in the winter, this is how you make it. OK. Bananas. Okay. We like bananas. So you just put the bananas in. Then you put vanilla. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit of vanilla essence. Just, just like a little splash. I like you... this method, just a bit of this, bit of that. Buttermilk, <sighs> which is the leftover pro process for making butter. Can I taste that? Yeah. Oh, it's, like, it's a bit like yoghurt. Kind, kind of. It's kind of a bit sour, a... isn't it? Yeah. 
Mm. So it's buttermilk. Mm -hmm. And then all you put, do is put a little bit of honey mm -hmm. instead of... You can put a bit of sugar in there if you want. And then lid on, hold on to the machine. And about 30 seconds in the machine, you just keep blending it. And what will happen is the bananas defrost but freeze the buttermilk. Clever. And what you end up with is an amazing ice cream. OK. Well... Is it? well. That's her. Lucky for you, ice cream is one of my favourite things in the world, so I'll happily be the volunteer. Ice cream. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that works. Happy with that? Yeah, delicious. It's not bad, is it, really? Cold, uh, creamy. Mm. And that's all it is, but basically you can just mm. you can just literally blitz it, and if you're doing anything with sort of, um, I don't know, a strawberries, exactly the same, just add a little buttermilk at a time, but the texture is very different to conventional ice cream. So, yeah, I mean, but it's, the it's different... very co it's really cold. There you go. But That's you can see it's, it's perfect like that. You can yeah. refreeze it if you wish. Like that. Mm, mm, mm. You can refreeze it if you want. Mm. But alternatively, if you're feeling full on this, this, this summer, you can take clotted cream and make it with strawberries and clotted cream. Strawberries, clotted cream, a little drizzle of honey in there is absolutely so could amazing. Could you do it with frozen mangoes or any fruit? Or is it just, uh, it you know, works just... better with works better with, to be honest, fresh fruit. But the two main ones really yeah. are bananas and strawberries. Anything with... If you've got raspberries, they contain a lot of water. Yeah. So anything that's got a lot of water, like oranges, as soon as you blitz it, it just goes into a puree. So the idea really is, is use either bananas or strawberries. Easy as that. OK, well...